What's up, guys? Fledmon 14 here. And we're back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, last turn, I summoned Attack Force. We set uh, final attack orders, and we attacked Yu-Gi's Mystical Elf. We're going to end our turn. Yep. Last time, we tried looking for Bandit Keith once again at night. Um, unfortunately, we did not find him. We were interrupted by a shadow game. But I don't even think he was on the map, because uh, I'm pretty sure his uh, Duel of Stars uh, should be around like 3 to, uh, yeah, should be about like 3 to uh, 5, should be pretty high. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what you want to do next for the storyline of this game. Just keep dueling at night until you find someone who's about, you know, 3 or uh, uh, 5 stars. Three, four, or five stars. So, yeah, yeah switch that to attack mode. All right. Then I'm going to use your wing dragon, you. All right, now, Goblin Attack Force, check this out. 2,800 damage with a level four monster. <laughs> that is awesome. Direct attack. All right, and now at the end of the battle phase, Goblin Attack Force will switch to defense, but final attack orders, just switch it right there. Oh, that is awesome. Alright, Yugi should have saved that Karibo for that direct attack. Last turn he wasted, uh, uh, I mean, last episode he wasted Karibo on like 300 damage or something like that. Ah, that's a pretty good card, Yugi, Life Force Sword. Removes a card at random from your hand for about three turns. Alright, I, I think we've got this one in the bag. Uh, one thing I should note for you guys though, like, you see, like, how we have Sinister Serpent and everything? Yeah, while you have final attack orders, while you have your strategy, you know, working perfectly, Zumbire, that's a good attack monster. Maybe we won't finish him this turn, I don't know. But yeah, while you have uh, final attack orders, you definitely don't want to set uh, anything like Sinister Serpent, uh, unless you just have to, right? Um, or unless you have something to, like, negate the attack and then tribute it next turn. Because uh, Sinister Serpent, I mean, it's good, but it does have only 300 attacks, so... And the AI's pretty aggressive. They tend to attack your face downs basically no matter what. So, yeah, definitely be wary of that, you know. Alright, Yugi, we win. Show you guys the screen here. Hmm, hand destruction bonus 12. Oh, yeah, we played Morphin Jar. That's right. My Morphin Jar. Wow, you're getting stronger and stronger. Uh, can you register me, Yugi, please? I kind of just want to register you, bro. Now, I don't know exactly how many times we fought you in this LP, but I'm pretty sure we fought you like quite a number of times. So, if you could register me, bro, that'd be cool. Who's this? Ah, you eat again. Okay. Hi, Flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's duel. Hasn't been a while since we dueled, dude. I dueled you like twice yesterday, and I'm dueling you twice today. What do you mean? Plus, I dueled your alter ego last night. Well, I guess that doesn't really count. That's not you. That's the that's another person inside you. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean, Yugi. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I like fighting Yugi. Well, AMB. Actually, I like fighting Yami Yugi a lot more. He's very challenging, but it's always very fun. I uh, see so you got a trap card back there, Yugi. Or a set card. I'm actually going to set this. And hmm, what should we do? You know what? I'll run out Media Sailor. I thought about just waiting and maybe not attacking this turn, but now let's do it. Ah, yeah. Called his bluff. Called his bluff. He's got nothing back there, man. Ah, wasting Karibo again. <laughs> I guess the AI just flagged itself like, hey, you have the chance to activate Karibo. Activate it automatically. Like, no, they should have somehow made it the AI to where, like, Okay, if the damage at least is at least a that oh no. Oh, so he took our sand man. Okay, thank god. Um, if he would have took lightning vortex or that could have been bad. Now what shall we take from him? Well, our choice is pretty obvious. Uh, we're gonna take Giant Soldier of Stone, because I can't beat a 2,000 defender right now, so 
pretty obvious choice for us. Thanks, Yugi. Ooh. Ooh, well, I can beat a 2,000 point defender now. We drew Command Knight. Check this card out, guys. One of the better cards in this deck. Yeah, as long as one of the monsters exists on your field, your opponent can't attack this card. Also, uh, increase the attack of all warrior monsters by 400 points. Yeah. And DD Assailant is indeed a warrior monster, so pretty good card. Ooh. Now, one card I am... Now, who will get the effect of Sam in here? Him or me? Because that's my card. I guess he gets the effect? Or do I... Oh, I get the effect. Oh, that's awesome. I had no idea how that worked. Um, let's take Morphing Jar. Morphing Jar seems good. Um, yeah, because I have a few cards in my hand, right? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, Morphing Jar seems very good with the sand. Um, what was a sand? What was a sand? Something about this deck. Oh, right, right. One card I am looking for this deck that's really, really, really good, uh, and you can play three of them in this game, is the card you see right here on the cover of this card. I'm looking for Marauding Captain. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't pulled any of those, I don't think. So, if I can get um, three of those in this Warrior deck, it's going to be looking pretty solid. Alright, so we'll set uh, these cards. There we go, because we're going to Morphin Jar. Alright, and Battle Phase. Now, we know he still has Gazelle in hand. I'm going to attack with Command Knight. Assume it's Gazelle. It is Gazelle. Okay, okay. So I was like, well, he could draw a 2k Defender, so maybe not, but no, nah, no. Nah. I'll attack with uh, DD Assailant first, though, next turn. Because uh, then he will have drawn two cards we don't know about, and he could have a 2k defender. So, normally I wouldn't do that, just because Yugi has a lot of high defense monsters, but we did get to see his hand, so. Oh, he has nothing. Okay. I'm pretty sure we just win then. Uh, let's maximize the view. Let's see if we can get exactly zero here. So we got 21. That'll put him down to. 17. Uh, unfortunately, we have Axe Raider, which normally would work, but, um, yeah, that would get him down, well, actually, let's see, so 16 would get him down to 22. Uh, wait, maybe we can get zero. Okay, let's Rota, let's Rota here. I think if we take Gear Free, this should get us exactly zero. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Summon Gear Free. Yeah, because Gear Free has 22. You have 16. Okay, that should do it. And one Morphing Jar just for fun. Just so we can get a little hand destruction bonus. Let's see what was in Yugi's hand. Alright, so he had Horn of the Unicorn. We had Giant Soldier Stone. Oh, he had Summon Skull. Oh, yeah, he bricked. He bricked. He had Dark Magic Attack, Summon Skull, and Horn of the Unicorn. Yeah, he, he bricked hard. He bricked hard. All right, anyway, this should be the game. Ooh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What if he drew another Karibo? Okay, looks like he did. Looks like looks like we're safe, guys. Or are we? Another Karibo? You got another Karibo, Yugi? Do you? No, we're good. Exactly zero. Perfect. Perfecto. You win. All right. 110. Sweet. Wow. Yeah. Stronger and stronger. We've heard this before, Yugi. All right. Who else can we find? Serenity. Who's this? Unknown. Um, is that it? Oh, no, there's one. Two unknown. Oh, three. Okay, there's Mokuba. Um, let's go all the way down here. See if we can find someone different. Yugi again! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, obviously I didn't mean to do that, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Raul 
round three. Fight. All right, Yugi, bring it on. All right, guys. <laughs> and I'm actually, uh, I'll be right back real quick. I'm going to get it some more water because it is kind of hot in here. I'll be right right back. attack force and in our turn I guess I could have summoned gear free that attacked right away but that's okay all right heavy storm interesting we'll go with command knight all right and I will start attacking with command knights let's see what you got you barrel M all right Shit. Sitting bones up. Uh, and should I attack with Goblin Attack Force? Not yet. Not yet. I won't. I won't attack yet. Because it'll switch to defense mode. Not yet, Yugi. Not yet. Ah, another face down, huh? I think now I'll Heavy Storm. Yeah, now all heavy storm. We also got the Fiend Mega Cypher. This card's pretty good. If your opponent has two more monsters than you do, you can special summon it. So it's kind of like a good comeback card. Backup soldier. Oh, I'm glad I got rid of that. Yep. We did good, guys. We did good. All right. Gear Free, the Iron Knight in attack mode. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Uh, oops. Command Knight. Now, if we get a chance to direct attack, I may... Oh, okay, no, no. Looks like we're not going to get a chance to direct attack this turn. I was going to say, if we do get a chance, I might attack with two Goblin Attack Force. Uh, let's attack this one. Celtic Guardian. Okay. Now I summon the Celtic Guardian. Defense mode. I'm pretty sure Yugi took that card out of his deck after Battle City. Did we see it anymore after that? Well, I guess he kind of upgraded it. I think we might have saw a uh, obnoxious Celtic Guard. Oh, there we go. Now I'll attack with two Goblin Attack Force. There we go. There we go. Okay. For a little combo this turn, I'll summon Sasuke Samurai. Now I'll equip the Knight of Stand onto you. My Toon Goblin Attack Force, you boy. Now check this out, you. Sasuke Samurai. Use your special ability. By attacking a face down, he automatically destroys it. Doesn't flip or anything. Ooh, you s Ooh, you said Zambira? Well, I guess Command Knight is boosting everything, so... And you can't attack Command Knight, because I had uh, other monsters. Yeah, we did pretty good there. Alright, Command Knight, attack him first. Maybe he'll waste Karibo. He seems to get Karibo in his starting hand every time. Oh, but not this time. Toon Goblin attack force, attack Yugi Boy direct. Oh my god. 5900. <laughs> oh, that is powerful. Powerful stuff. Alright, it'll switch to defense, but we got final attack orders just in case. So. All right. Yeah, I think Yugi's just about done here. Let's play Final Attack Orders. And you set that card face down, and I can automatically destroy it with uh, Sasuke Samurai. So we basically win. Toon Goblin Attack Force in attack mode. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Sasuke Samurai, gift. 
instant stealth Sinop Shinobi Slice. Goodbye. Oh, he had Big Shield Garden. Ooh. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's see the attack now. 6,700. Yeah, the, the power level of this deck, the ceiling, the power ceiling, is pretty, pretty high. Alright, and let's check the rewards here. Oops, I right clicked. Let's see, there we go. Alright, so we got the max attack, max damage at 13. Nice. Alright. Drink a little more water. Flood! I want, oh, finally! I want to register you as a duelist. Can I? Yeah, buddy. Thanks. Now we can do any time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So with that, I'm gonna click on the home icon. That's definitely worthy of a save there. All right. So we will say lobby. Save. Yes. I will overwrite that data, baby. All right. Okay. We'll head out. I think we're at 16 minutes. I think we've got enough time for one more duel. Depends. Depends who we find. I guess. And the cards we draw. But if not, we will continue in the next episode. Okay, there's someone unknown here. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Rex Raptor. It's dino feeding time. My dinosaur deck will turn your monsters into fossils. All right, let's do it, buddy. Dino destruction. <laughs> Almost said dino DNA. You know, like uh, Tyranno Hasselberry. <laughs> Every time I say, you know, dino like that, dino DNA, I always think of dino DNA. Unfortunately, he is not in this game because mostly he did not exist yet. Alrighty, let's do some deck thinning here. Deck thinning is deck winning. So, tune table of contents. We'll search tune table of contents. And then with this tune table, well, we've already got a uh, tune goblin attack first. So I think I'll search for tune Gemini elf. Yeah. I'm sorry if you guys can see something on the screen. There's there's a fly buzzing around in here. Anyway. Tune Gemini Elf. And we will go with a guy of power. Alright. Your turn, Rex. I end my turn. Oops. I end my turn, I say. Alright, drink some more water. Gillosaurus, that's a good monster. Well, I'm glad you put that in defense mode, buddy. You know, you could have uh, destroyed my Toon Gemini Elf had you summoned that properly in attack mode. Because this is an Earth monster, correct? Correct? Yeah, yikes. Alright, well, we dodged that bullet. Uh, next step, let's go with two Goblin Attack Holes. Alright. Okay, with Toon Gemini Elf, we'll definitely take out Gilosaurus here. Alright. Yeah, because that thing was at uh, 2600 attack with Stim Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, Rex. That's pretty good. Gaia Power definitely helps out his deck quite a lot. Because I'm pretty sure all of his dinos are Earth. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Spell Absorption. This also combos good with uh, Tomb Table. Basically, that you gain uh, free 1,500 points if you've got all three. Uh, let's set Sinister Serpent. I'll try to uh, maybe sacrifice it for Jinzo next turn. For now, we'll just attack. Two-headed King Rex. Yep. Pretty standard. If nothing else, at least he'll probably summon something in attack mode. Yeah, Char Greed's good. And attack our central serpent. Oh, a tribute summon. Even better. Yep. Oh, no. Raise body heat. I think that'll put him over Toon Gemini Elf. Just a little bit. Let's see. E yep. Put him over by 150. Well done. That's okay, though. Because next turn, we can get out Jinzo. 
them. Alrighty. So I will sacrifice some sugar sharpen to bring out. Now check this out, Rex. I summon Jinzo in attack mode. <laughs> Alright, so we definitely do want to attack with a uh, Tomb Goblin attack force here. There we go. Yep, yeah, because he was at 2550. Man, that thing was stronger than Jinzo. That's crazy. Stronger than a, a Dark Magician. <laughs> Alright. Jinzo, go! Cyber Energy Shock! Unfortunately, I don't have final attack orders yet, uh, but I do have Warrior Returning Alive, which is just as good, honestly. So, we will end our turn. There we go. Alright, we're at about 21 minutes. Oh, he's going to knock out our field card. Interesting. Well, honestly, I'm okay with that, because uh, Gaia Power helps him I would say, than his own field card. Okay, he's gonna take out Goblin Attack Force here. Alright. All he's got is a King Rex. Ooh, we got regular Goblin Attack Force. Okay. Well, I think I'll summon that right away because I can attack directly this turn. Two Jinzo go. Cyber energy shock. <laughs> oh man, I love Jinzo. Jinzo's so cool. <laughs> Alright, Goblin Attack Force. Use those clubs and give her a beat down. <laughs> Alright, yeah, hopefully I can get more of Goblin Attack Force. The regular one. Uh, I forgot which pack we got it from, but. Definitely a very good card in this deck. You're right. Get on my dino. Chop on those goblins. <laughs> How was that, Rex impression, guys? Was that good? I think that was pretty good. That, that seemed is pretty good. All right, and it doesn't matter what that face down. Well, unless it's like a shrink or something like that. I mean, I got Jinzo, so you can't play traps, buddy. Uh, let me make sure I pick correct here. We'll take the standard Goblin Attack Force, gain our 500. And this should be the end of the duel, guys. Come out once again, Goblin Attack Force. Alright, Rex. Better hope you get something good face down there. Go, Jinzo. Cyber Energy Shockwave. <laughs> Alright, 1750. Yeah, I don't think I could have got exact zero with anything in my hand. I mean, a Salem would have been close, but he's got 50, you know, so that, that kind of makes it tough, but all right. all right. Looks like we win, guys. So, yeah, that's basically going to be the end of this episode. And in the next episode, like I said off screen, I'll kind of, you know, look up which packs we want. Um, because I'm still looking for some of those flood cards, like uh, Mother Grizzly and stuff. And I'm also looking for, you know, more Goblin Tech Force for this deck. A lot of cards I'm looking for, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you all for joining me. And I hope you're enjoying this LP. If you are, you know, feel free to uh, like, you know, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, share it with your friends. And uh, with that... We are good to go. So I will hope you all guys all have a good day. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>